Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a new AT Hall Effect magnetic keyboard brought to you by Boye. This is the 66 Pro, the Boye 66 Pro HE keyboard that is available in both a white and a black. It's a 65% with a knob and two navigation keys. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have in the box. Before taking a look at the keyboard, let's see what we have included in the box. It looks like we have a quick start guide that has the key combinations to make up for the keys that aren't here. And also for switching RGB functionality. And it also does have a URL to download the software that will control the actuation point, the rapid trigger mode as well as a normal trigger mode. And I do believe that you can set one key to actually two different events or the same event over and over again. But we'll take a look at it when we look at the software. In the box, we have your standard wire and switch keycap puller. We have a nylon USB-A to USB-C cable. And we have a couple of extra keys. And it does appear that these are shine through keycaps. I do believe they're ABS, but we'll look that up. Now, the keyboard itself does come with a dust cover, which is a great addition uh, for any keyboard. It helps to keep keyboards clean, and I cannot stress this enough. If you keep this on your keyboard when you're not using it, not only is it going to stay cleaner, it will last longer. Little bits of dust and everything will eventually get into the keyboard and can cause shorts and or damage. So taking a look at the keyboard, it looks like we have a very standard um, 66 key. 65% layout and this is the wired only model it does have a physical windows and a mac key switch so we can change modes right there it is underneath the keyboard i usually prefer it to be on the side and then we have a sunken usb port it is not necessarily my favorite because i do have usb cables that have a thicker um, usb end but it seems like it's going to fit a good amount of them. So it doesn't seem to be that much of an issue. And it is only recessed by about four millimeters. So taking a look at this, we do appear to have some cherry profile shine through keycaps. I'm gonna guess they're ABS, but I will look that up here shortly. Let's take a look here. We do have, oh wow, we actually have some pads. It's basically the tape mod for the stabilizers already applied to the plate. This mod actually helps for the stabilizers to get attached better to the plate. And they are definitely lubricated. Um, when they are this lubricated or over lubricated, I certainly suggest going in there, either taking them out of the board himself or taking a q-tip and cleaning out the extra uh, lubrication because what will happen if you keep that extra lubrication in there little be bits of dust and whatever's in the air will start to stick to that and eventually it'll become like mud and make the stabilizers either stick or extremely sluggish all right we see that we have a pretty standard magnetic switch with the magnet right there in the middle and a couple extra pegs to keep us nice and balanced. Switch is a linear with a pleasant and not at all loud bottom out. I would guess that it has the full four, full four millimeters of travel, but um, as this is a magnetic keyboard, in the software, you can set the point of actuation, whether it be a tenth of a millimeter, two millimeters, three and a half millimeters, all the way down to four, I believe. I'll have to check the software, but that's how most are. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this stock, but all of that lubrication really should be cleaned off because that will, that definitely will create a mud after some time because dust will basically mix with the, all this extra lubrication and cause issues it is a south-facing pcb 
and it does appear to have both a layer of PET above the PCB as well as a layer of IXPE. So that is very nice, but we do not appear to have the ability to install screw-in PCB stabilizers. I was under the impression this was a steel plate, but it's not. It appears to be aluminum as it's non-ferrous, non-magnetic, and it is a gasket mount. It does not have a lot of flex, but as you can see, there is some flex, which means that the typing experience, though a little stiff, is not harsh as it would be if it was a tray-mounted plate. Now the stock sound of this keyboard is actually quite nice. It's a very deep deep sounding and pleasant um, change from some of the other magnetic keyboards that I've taken a look at. Uh, some of them have steel plates so they have that harshness but they usually sound more tinny or more high pitched whereas this one stock out of the box has a much deeper tone to it uh, which is quite pleasant now let's go ahead and plug it in and see what these lights look like well, the lights come on almost instantly and it does appear that they have a nice color the problem that we have here, though, is that we are using top shine through keycaps on a south facing PCB. As we can see, because it's south facing, the shine through would work if the keys were upside down. But these south facing keyboards, if you want shine through to come through the legends, you're going to have to use front or side shine through keycaps. So my opinion, I personally would have liked to seen this come with non shine through keycaps. And I think that would have just made that this entire experience that much more refined. So it certainly sounds very nice uh, for being a keyboard with shine through keycaps. These keycaps are actually surprisingly thicker than I've seen most shine through keycaps be. The thickness on these keycaps is 1.5 millimeters, whereas most shine through keycaps are going to be closer to the one millimeter range. So these are more quality or higher quality um, shine through keycaps that you would find on most other OEM boards. Now, unfortunately, this being a shine through keycap, it is south facing. So the light is not going to shine through the legends. So I certainly would have gone myself and, and I picked this keyboard I would have gone with just opaque keycaps as I think that would have worked out best or if they really wanted to stick with shine through then they should have gone with front or side shine through legends just the specs today we are taking a look at the boy 66 pro hall effect magnetic 65 percent wired keyboard with a knob this is a, this keyboard comes with a gasket mounted aluminum plate and a south facing hot swap Hall Effect PCB with pink linear magnetic switches and double shot shine through keycaps that I believe are ABS but could not find an exact specification. It also includes PET, IXPE and foam layers to deliver a very pleasant stock sound experience. The keyboard weighs in at 628 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 21 millimeters while the back sits at 27 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of five degrees. Flipping out the first set of fold out feet will take the back up to 27 millimeters, changing the angle of typing to eight degrees. Flipping out the final set of feet will bring the back up to 38 millimeters, changing the default typing angle to 11 degrees. This keyboard MSRPs for $63.99 on Amazon.com 
and currently has a coupon for 10% off. All right, so let's take a quick look at the software. We can go to boygeekkeyboard.com forward slash download.html. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and we will see the link to download the Boye 66 Pro Magnetic Switch Keyboard Software Driver. Now, once we install it and open it up, we see that we can actually go full screen, which a lot of software drivers do not allow us to do. And we actually have a fairly complete um, system here. Now, with this advanced key, we have DKS, which basically you can have up to four functions depending on how, how, how hard you press or actuate the switch. We have MT, which is a mod tap. It allows two functions, basically one for a single tap and another if you press and hold. And then TGL, which allows you to tap the key once and it will lock in place, continuing to press that key over and over again or key combination. The key, single key or key combination apply to both or all of the single key or key combination seem to apply directly equal to all three of these modes. Now in lightings, we have selection between all the different effects, or we can also do custom, which allows us to program per key RGB. And then we have the ability to control what Windows key lock does, and you can actually disable Windows key altogether, disable shift tab, alt tab, and it also has a link to keyboard properties in the soft system settings. For macros, we have a pretty complete macro setup that you can actually insert events into before and after particular events that you've done. You can also add mouse interactions and delays. So not only can you select one of the keys that you've pressed for the macro, you can actually add a mouse event before or after. Um, so if you want to do a combination of things, so this is a pretty, pretty good macro system. One of the better ones that I've seen as far as the functionality that you can set. Now, of course, you do have different profiles and you can create more so that you can switch back and forth between them. And you can also remap the top layer keys or bind to the function layer and in the function layer you'll see some that have a red outline and a pink background those will not let you rebind the function layers too because they are already programmed such as the windows for function windows lock now the knob is also non-programmable it will only control volume and mute now to the actuation settings we have the rapid trigger which allows us to basically set at what point we want it to activate. And then we have a separate press and release sensitivity. So we can actually determine where after we pass a point, it's decided that it's done actuating and then it comes back up and where it's where that sensitivity is going to be. The calibration mode is used in magnetic switch keyboards in order to get the to make sure that they're getting you know pressed that they're all being read correctly and that they're all working in tandem basically because how the hall effect um you know basically detects the strength of the magnetic field and that's where it determines at what point in the switch uh travel the head is at or the stem is at i should say so all in all i think that this is a decent um magnetic the keyboard i i like the software actually um we're gonna mess with it a little bit more and it's actually not that bad as far as how it sounds uh despite it having a gasket mount but it's more of a sandwich gasket mount so it's kind of like the becker or, or the ik-75 or the th-80 where i mean it is technically gasket but there's not much room for it to move but at least it is much softer than if it was it is not as harsh as a tray mounted would be so and we are in a body of what appears to be um 
other models, uh, though the other models obviously were mechanical. The one that I can think of off the bat is the N66. And a lot of people do like this layout uh, because of the, the only thing that's really expanded out is the knob and the navigation keys. Um, I went ahead and added that uh, function backspace to delete as that's what I like to use. And I'm actually, I'm trying to get back into a few games. So I think I might try it out to see if it can actually improve my game because I'm not a very good gamer, especially when it comes to first person shooters. I've got links down below to Boyi's store as well as uh, his uh, store on Amazon.com. And like I said, currently uh, the keyboard is available with a 10 percent off coupon so it'll basically leave you at about 60 bucks for the keyboard which in my opinion is one of the more affordable um, HE keyboards though I really do feel that the price is going to continue to come down as more and more models are released but this one if you're looking for a 60 percent in my opinion is a pretty decent kit um, it would be nice if it was a three mode but I personally do not use um, wireless as often as other people seem to so i am fine with wired and um i will probably come back to this keyboard at some point report back after using it for a while and probably apply some mods although this is so far probably one of my it's probably the second best sounding um magnetic keyboard out of the box stock um, so i think that it can be improved it does sound really good in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Boye 66 Pro. I do hope that you enjoyed the review. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.